Oil was discovered thousands of years ago, and until the modern era, it was mostly used for lamps and construction. The Chinese made the first oil wells about 2,400 years ago, though the modern history of oil started in 1847, when James Young noticed the petroleum seepage in the Reddings coal mine. He distilled the oil, getting a light thin oil used for lamps, and a thick oil for lubrication. Young experimented further with the coal, and in 1850 he distilled an early form of petroleum. The same year, Young formed a partnership with Edward William Binney, and together they made the first fully commercial oil refinery in the world. The value of oil spiked in 1859 when petroleum was discovered in Titusville. This new and easy source of oil made oil-dependent machinery not only way cheaper, but also way more lucrative. The 20th century brought a new wave of industry and machinery. Cars, tankers, tanks, planes, machines, and war. All needing oil to function. During the world wars, there were entire nations depending on oil. In a hundred years, oil had gone from a useless black sludge to gold. Now everyone wanted to get a piece of petroleum. It was a gold rush all over again. Now, on a global scale, colonial powers were looking for oil fields in their colonies. Poor nations of the past suddenly gained unimaginable wealth, and some of the largest oil exporters decided to come together and formed a cartel, the OPEC. Consisting of 15 countries, most notably Saudi Arabia, OPEC accounts for 44% of global oil production and over 80% of the world's oil reserves, making them a powerful oil entity. Due to their influence in big oil, OPEC has been artificially setting the oil prices, making oil more expensive than it has to be. Still, on April 20th, the price of one oil barrel was negative 40 dollars. This means you would be paid $40 to take an oil barrel. And this is because of OPEC Plus, another oil cartel composed of 10 smaller oil exporting countries, mainly Russia and Mexico. But how did this happen? The supply and demand dynamic is what determines the value and price of a product. When oil is scarce and many people want oil, the buyers have to compete to buy the oil. The buyers who can pay the most for the product get to buy it, and the price is pushed up. This is why gold is so expensive. It's a rare metal that everyone wants. On the other side of the spectrum, there's plastic. Since there is an almost endless supply of plastic, it's cheap. Instead of the buyers competing to buy the product, the sellers have to compete to sell their product. This leads to them lowering their prices, and plastic becomes cheap. It's the same for oil. OPEC was limiting their oil production in order to bump up the oil price. And this was all smooth sailing. Well, if it wasn't for those pesky Russians. While OPEC was limiting their oil production, OPEC Plus saw the perfect opportunity to increase production, lowering the price to make everyone buy from them. And this was all smooth sailing. That's if you're sailing off of a cliff, and that cliff is the value of the global crude oil supply, which of course, turned negative. They managed to produce so much oil, they had to pay customers to take oil off their hands. As of writing, the oil price per barrel is $83. Five of the ten largest companies in the world are oil giants, or industries related to oil. We use oil for plastic, roads, fuel, and a plethora of other goods, and there's no denying that oil has an excessive impact on our worlds and our lives, but it's oil on the way out.